Instagram here. All right, first things first, we are gonna look at our catch-in. Very basic, grab yourself, as I said, grab yourself either some a sock that's rolled up, either roll up a sock, or if you have a tennis ball, a tennis ball or a hockey ball or anything, I suggest you use this, okay? So, we're gonna start off with our catch-in. Simple stuff, catch with two hands, let's go. Hey, two hands, two hands, two hands. You don't have to do this, I'm just enjoying myself. So make sure you're looking at the ball, clasping it, two hands. See if you can do it without looking as well. Catch it without looking, just looking forward. See if you can do that. So if you haven't, if you've just joined us, grab yourself a small ball or roll up some socks and do this with me, okay? I'm on Instagram and I'm on Facebook. So this is my first time, I've never done this before. We'll see if we'll do it again. But literally catching with two hands. All right, now one hand. Keep your eye on the ball, see if you can catch it, just like this. We're just gonna catch the ball with one hand. Switch to the other side. Give me a thumbs up if you're joining in. One hand. Okay, you see what I did? I changed my hand. So this time I'm gonna catch the ball with one hand and grab it like this, okay? So the hand's gonna go right behind it and I'm gonna clasp it and pull it down. So it will look something like that. Bit harder with a sock, but have a go anyway. Okay, so really clasp it, keep your eye on the ball, really snatch it in. A tune. All right, so we're gonna snatch it. Keep going. Oh, I see the thumbs up. Let me see you guys. I see you, Alice. Yep. Cody, I see. Yep. Marie over here. Kerry. Oh, Karen. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Challenge. I saw you. Okay, let's keep going. Take it from left to right, left to right, left to right. A, A, A. Snatch it, snatch it, snatch it. Come on. All right. Next one. We are gonna do some two claps, okay? So we're gonna catch. Ball goes up in the air. Clap, clap, catch. Very simple. Clap, clap. Let's go up. Very simple. If you've got your socks, do the same thing. Rolled up socks, clap, twice. Got that. Good, very simple stuff to start off with, okay guys? Bear with us. Hey, hey, hey. Work, work, up. <laughs> nice work. Okay, now I want you to get creative with your two claps. You can either clap like this, you can either clap like this, so that's under the leg there, so you see that? You can clap up, down, you can do whatever you want. I want you to get creative with your two claps, okay? So, I'll go and catch. That was me going forward to back. Let me see it. All right, keep, keep going, get creative, do something different. I went for under the leg that time. Okay, does anyone want to come on and show me what they've got going? Hey, hey, hey Diane, I see you. <laughs> All right, let me see. Anyone want to come on? Let me see. Okay, I've got questions. Anyone want to join me? All right, again, any clap, do whatever you want. I've gone for the behind the back. I'm going underneath the leg and catch still with the small ball or with your socks. You know you have to do this to music, innit? Because you gotta feel good. Hey, Soph, I see you. Come on. Up, 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 catch. Keep it simple if you want to. Catch, catch, catch. If you've got low ceilings like me, it's really hard to do some stuff, I'm telling you. Okay. What is next? Right, this time with your, with your um, sock or with your small ball, the ball's just gonna go under your leg. So if you can see me, ball goes under the leg, you're gonna let it go and catch it with two hands. Under the leg, catch it with two hands. Under the leg, catch it with two hands. When you get confident, guess what? Catch it with one hand. Under the leg, catch it with one hand. Under the leg, 
So just do that a couple of times for me. Hey. Whoop, whoop. Keep going now. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Let's turn this up. What's that a question I see? Well, can I clap under both of my legs? I'm not sure. Let's give it a try. It's gonna be hard. Not got enough space. Let's go. Hey, I have to do the job. <laughs> All right. You see how I have to do that? I like that one. Anyone else? Have a go at that. So up it goes. Under both legs. And catch. And catch. Woo! If I had a bit more space, I'd go higher. Okay. What? What? Anyone here from Home Festival Fun? From the page, give me a thumbs up. Thank you for coming, thank you for tuning in. Alright, I think we're gonna move on. Okay, next thing. You're going to. Let me turn this down. Okay, the next one, what you're gonna do, we're gonna focus in on touching our body, okay? So, ball goes up in the air. So, the ball, the hand that takes it up into the air, you're going to let go and you're gonna touch your shoulder and catch it back. So up, catch. See that? Up, catch. Let's go. Your turn. See if you can get a little rhythm going. What? What? Got part up, part two. Hey. What? What? <laughs> okay. If you've got that, do it. Do it at your own pace. I'm just having fun with it. Do it at your own pace for sure. I see you guys. Hi. Okay, do it with your left hand as well. So up, touch your shoulder. Okay, I see you. There we go. Touch that shoulder. Remember, you can either use a small tennis ball, a small hockey ball, something small, uh, or you can use rolled up socks, anything. Just find your, find your beat. Hey, hey, touch that shoulder. <laughs> I'm having too much fun, I swear. Okay, on this next one, we're gonna see if we can touch two body parts, okay? Let's go shoulder and knee, all right? So the ball goes up in the air, you're gonna touch your shoulder, knee, and then catch it back. Something, ooh, tune! All right, so we're gonna go and catch. You see that, guys? I've gone up, touch my shoulder, knee, and catch. Your turn. And again, and again. Oh, let's do this to the beat. Hey, <laughs> don't cry, <back. laughs> All right, so up it goes and catch. Have a go, guys. Hopefully, I'm not going too fast for you. Keep going. I so badly want someone to come on the live with me. I don't know why. Just fancy it. Keep going, guys. Oh, I see you guys. Sinead. Okay, and again, couple more. Remember, touch that shoulder, touch the knee, and catch. Nice. Very simple stuff. Is it though? You guys finding it easy? Okay. Okay, I think we are done with the small. Oh, all right, put it down. All right, the next little section, we are going to focus on our jumping and our landing. Very boring-ish kind of stuff, but it happens in netball all the time. And we need to make sure that we actually look after our bodies when we land. So we're gonna land nice and softly um, and absorb all the pressure. I live on top of someone, so I don't wanna be thudding, their, thudding the floor and making them think what is going on up there, all right? So when I land, I'm gonna land nice and soft. So what I'm gonna need you to do is start a bit further back, give yourself some space, uh, shoulder width apart with your feet, hands come up, Bend, jump forward, and land nice and softly. Okay, we're gonna do that a couple times. All right. 
here we go jump and land nice and softly very simple but we need this in netball and you need to do it well so jump and land nice and softly keep going give me a thumbs up if you're joining in i see you i see you guys on facebook too loving that what 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 oh pippa goodwin i see you i see you okay again same thing couple more give me two more of bounds for me land relax one more big jump this is my jam what what oh nice thumbs up i see you okay this time we're gonna just jump with one leg so we're gonna bound from our left leg to our right leg so we're gonna land nice and softly just gonna do three on each side left foot to right foot and then i want you to hold it and show me you can hold it okay next one again same thing left to right and hold it be in control sucking that core no one should be able to push you over okay and again left to right see how i put my hands out for balance that's absolutely fine really hold that that position okay now we're gonna go from right to left hold it good and again you're gonna hold it there show me that you can hold it nice and again last one and hold that position work, 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 work. <laughs> honestly i don't know what's going on well done kadeen i see my sister there hey <laughs> okay so the next section what we're gonna do we're gonna look at our turning so in netball we do our jump turns so we need to make sure we can land that well so number one we're gonna do our half turn to face this way all right here we go jump turn try not to shake at the end try and hold it really nice and softly all right big jump and turn nice see if we can go back the other way jump turn again soft knees absorb the pressure okay let's not hurt the person underneath or push down into the floor okay so really jump and relax and hold it from there we're gonna go back all right so we've done half turns guess what we're gonna do now guess what we're gonna do now three quarters all right so i'm gonna turn and land this way here we go three two one and see if we can hold it and up see if we can do it the other way as well three quarters there we go and hold it boy this is my jam work keep practicing those three quarter turns please while i just feel the beat but well who knows this dance though i just want to have a good turn all right on the next one what we're gonna do is a full turn a full turn now all right so we're gonna land right back here in order to get more power we might have to bring our arms a little bit over here okay so over to the right hand side so what we're gonna do is jump turn and see if we can land it to the front join me join me let's go let's go full turn all the way around and relax hold it nice Go the other way, harder the other way sometimes. All right, here we go. Big jump and land. Big jump and hold. Left. Give me a couple more now. Give me a couple more now. Give me a couple more now. I really enjoyed that dance. <laughs> that music. Okay. Can you do more? Than that can you do a bigger turn can you do more than a full turn i'm gonna give it a go we'll see what happens hey kadeen you trying to come in kadeen come in let's go let's go oh i did one and a quarter what are you guys getting tell me what you're getting Woo! one and a half you got one and a half anyone else want
gonna have a go. All right, let's go. Let's go for one in three quarters. Oh, never. I got to one and a half, guys. Anyone else beating me on that one? Anyone else beating me on that one? Okay, let's move on. At this point, grab yourself a quick, quick drink. Grab yourself a quick drink. Quick sip. Hey. All right, let's get David on then. I see, let's get David on. Let's get David on. How do we do this now? I only see Poppy. Let's see if Hobby can come on. <laughs> I would fully lick down everything. <laughs> All right, let's see this. Anyone else want to come in and do this last part with me? Oh, did you do one and a half? Oh, see, wicked, wicked. Okay. Let's go, David. In we come. I'm waiting for David to come online with me. Hey! <laughs> All right. Are you guys joining in or? Yes. Hang on, hang on. Who's a long ball? <laughs> okay. Let me see your. Let me show you. Let me see your first full turn. Your full turn. Go on. My full side. Thank you. We got dogs. Let's dog back up. Okay, my girl, my girl. Hold on. All right, hold on. Wait, doggy, stay away. One, one, two. Oh wait, I have a three-legged dog coming my way. One, two, three. Ready? Oh, too easy. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Okay. You want to do the last little bit? Okay. You're going to look at the balance. All right. If you have a bigger ball, this is the time to use it. If you have a small ball, that's fine. That's fine as well. Have you got a bigger ball? A small one. <laughs> it's coming in the mail. <laughs> Demonstrate on that. So we're just going to tap from left. Yeah. Where's the other ball? Hold on. Let me, let me... <laughs>
solo sessions. It's literally uh, as possible. Yeah. Can you see me? I'm just taking a the head. Take it. That's it. It just. It's on charger i learned a lot can you see me properly okay oh, amazing okay i'm just waiting for my charger to turn on so that my battery doesn't die look little star is here okay i have a question for you why oh. netball and what team do you play for i netball I, okay i love team sports so for me <laughs> i used to watch her and i used to think oh, oh. Okay. I'm so much fun. So when I do it, I just naturally do it. So, How many years have you been playing? Oh, I have been playing um, probably at this at the level that I'm playing at now um, since. was 16 so we're looking at oh, quick like 12 years <laughs> oh my gosh and, and some, somebody said what why is netball so compact because i like when we played for sport relief because that's how we met like yeah. you you and your sister were like yeah yeah hi 
I'm Sasha. Hi, I'm Kenny. And then we started playing, and I felt like I was honestly, it was like in Jumanji. <laughs> I was in Jumanji, and I just, I just dropped in, and the animals were playing, like the wild beasts were, like it was like, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> and the girls were going, and you were fast, and you jump how, how, and why is it so competitive? It's pretty intense. I love how it's grown so much. Like from when I very first started to how it is now, it is completely different. Like everyone's training to be the best. So we're trying to be as fast as possible. We're trying to be able to change direction as quickly as possible. Yeah. And you're getting, especially when you do stuff in the gym, the stronger we're getting, um, the better we're becoming naturally. Yeah. Uh, I think the physicality of the game just naturally grows. So if someone comes in late for an interception and hits you, sometimes it happens, but you just got to be strong and be able to take that, you know? So that's why we work hard. And what do you have for aspiring young netball players? Because there's so many. I, for me, I feel like netball is probably the most um, underrated sport. Like it doesn't get enough acknowledgement because it is women playing in a team and not just that but they're like competitive and they're so empowering because of it they're like yeah you go down <laughs> i love that but how how can girls get into it and and what do you have to say for aspiring netball players yeah i think firstly just ha if you've never tried netball before have a go because what we've done here obviously it's just what you can do in isolation but um you can do this stuff by yourself to get better but it's about going out there and like maybe joining a team or like yeah. area um uh, find your local club and seeing if you can progress that way um so yeah just get in just, just get stuck in i think the main thing is to have fun the yeah. fun the better things are um, and yeah. it's like you'll love it you'll want to learn more you'll ask questions how can i yeah. get uh, like all of those things are really important for young players coming through even players like us like we have to love the game and we have to ask questions to get better it's exactly the same at all levels yeah and then i have one question here what is solo sessions ah solo sessions it's literally uh things you can do by yourself to get better at kind of all sports it's based around netball because that's my expertise but there's so much crossover on things that you can do so we look at hand-eye coordination we look at landing jump jump height we look at speed agility we try to play around with all the different aspects of it and then we go mm -hmm. out schools clubs and try to um give them a really cool experience with like a, an elite player so that's kind of what what's been happening that's amazing uh, and then how can players improve their shooting technique um so with your shooting you just have to practice so that's the main thing is practice but you do need to get the right technique yeah that whole elbow and then you're like follow through and you're like exactly i was doing that with summer <laughs> well you was really good you smashed it in our sport relief match okay i actually have the trophy let me get yeah keep talking <laughs> tell us tell us about technique i'm gonna get the trophy okay okay so with your technique <laughs> Sure, that you are shoulder width apart when you're when you're looking at the post so facing the post shoulder width apart you actually have your dominant hand so whichever hand um is your dominant hand the one you write with will be the one on top <laughs> come back <laughs> that there oh no she put it yay so we that place at the world cup <laughs> Woo oh it's so it's all the words oh yeah Oh, yeah, you got you guys deserve the game, and we have to ask questions to get better. It's exactly the same at all levels. Yeah, and then I have one question here: What is solo sessions? Ah, oh, solo sessions. It's literally uh, things you can do by yourself to get better at kind of all sports. It's based around netball because that's my expertise, but there's so much crossover on things that you can do. So we look at hand-eye coordination, we look at landing, jump jump height, we look at speed, agility, we try to play around with all the different aspects of it and then we go mm -hmm. out to clubs and try to um, give them a really cool experience with like a, an elite player. So that's kind of what, what's been happening. That's amazing. Uh, and then how can players improve their shooting technique? Um, 
So with your shooting, you just have to practice. So that's the main thing is practice, but you do need to get the right technique. Yeah, that whole elbow, and then you're like, follow through, and you're like... Exactly. I was doing that with Summer. <laughs> well, you was really good. You smashed it in our sport relief match. Okay. I actually have the trophy. Let me get... Yeah, keep talking. <laughs> tell us. Tell us about technique. I'm going to get the trophy. Okay, okay. So with your technique... <laughs> Sure that you are shoulder width apart when you're when you're looking at the post. So facing the post, shoulder width apart. You actually have your dominant hand. So whichever hand um, is your dominant hand, the one you write with will be the one on top. <laughs> I'm back. Back there. Oh no, she put it. Yay! So we that face at the World Cup. <laughs> Woo! Oh, it's so cool. The Warriors. Oh yeah, you got you guys deserve this. I'll keep that a little bit. No, you smashed it. And tell them posi your position. What did you play that day? Uh go and attack. Yeah. That's very exciting. <laughs> so yeah, so just with that, just making sure you have one hand on the other side and you kind of really want to push and follow through, through with your fingertips. Kind of looking at the back of the ring, getting that real height. Um, so that it's coming out on top of a witch's hat, so it drops right the way in. That's kind of how we go for it. So Ben, your is like Morris. And what, um, what, what about being a good center? How can you be a good center? Okay, there's no getting away from it. If you want to play center, you have to run. Yeah. I, the the best when it comes to running. So my kind of training is based around really hard bursts. So like let's say thirty seconds on, really hard, high intensity, and then yeah. I'll. 30 seconds to get my breath back go again and then do that maybe six to eight times and then rest and then go again whereas other other centers love to just run go on long runs 5k runs um even 10k runs at times because obviously that's the amount that you'll be taking up when you play the game yeah so there's there's ways in order to get fit but i think that's key you have to be fit to, in order to repeat the moves over and over again at the best ability without having to like like lose focus you want yeah. to make it so definitely um get your fitness up and then everything else will kind of come the more you play and train and and wing defense and wing attack of course we have to talk about them yeah okay i've never played wing attack or wing defense because i never saw the point of it i just thought this was so much work i have to deliver the ball no <laughs> <laughs> this is so much work it's too much work for me I love wing attack because you get to be creative um, yeah. base and, and kind of set up the shooters to play. So that's really important. But something I would say for wing attack is really work hard um, getting, getting free from two defenders. Yeah. And like and doing it earlier than you think. <laughs> so my thing now, but you need to start moving before that, if that makes sense. Kind of yeah. Like, Preparing earlier than you think you need. You anticipate it. You anticipate it. So two defenders always like to get on you because at the centre pass, the centre sometimes drops. Yeah. So wing attack from getting the ball. So what we like to do is have our wing attacks doing a bit of movement. So when the whistle goes, they're already punching through the two defenders and looking special. <laughs> okay, I've got two more questions. Well, three actually. Uh, defence or offence? What do I prefer? So yeah. What do you prefer and what do you think will win a game? Ooh, so attack, I... Ooh, so attack, I, I prefer attack, I like attacking, I like making defenders look a bit, you know, silly if I can. <laughs> um, but in terms of like what wins a game, to be honest, it usually is about the intercept, uh, defensive like pressure, because yeah. after your all 100% of your passes go into goal, then the only way you can win is by intercepting the ball and making and, and getting that game. 
So we both have the same two two um the two teams will both have the same amount of centre passes. Yeah. So messes up the, their centre pass really. Wow. Yeah, so you kind of, I think defence is really important because if you can grab a game from another team, then that's fantastic. Direction. Okay, l last two, which is weird. What's your favourite meal? Oh, my favourite meal. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I, I've been really playing around with food at the moment, but I love, love, love prawns. Prawns, mm, like a prawn curry or like a Thai prawn curry or like anything, really. I love it. But Really? Okay, and then your meal you eat before an important game? Uh, so I keep it simple, you know. Sometimes I have, like, spag bowl. How do I leave? See you later.